In this video, we will learn how to calculate the rule of 72. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice calculating how to double your money while also learning how to use function notation. Function notation is just a straightforward way of writing a function where you can clearly see the relationship between the input X value and the output Y value. However, in function notation, instead of using Y as our output, we will utilize this F parentheses X, which is verbally expressed as a function of X or shorthand F of X. We will be practicing writing function notation using the rule of 72. This general rule of thumb approximates how long it will take for your money to double in an account given a certain annual rate of return. You can calculate how many years it will take to double your money by taking 72 and dividing by your rate of return. Let's try this example. You are evaluating a few different investment options and want to find out how many years it will take for your money to double. Let's first write the rule of 72 in function notation. Recalling from the previous slide, we know that we can find the number of years it will take to double by dividing 72 by the rate of return. If X is the rate of return, go ahead and write a function for the rule of 72. Nice work. The function notation of the rule of 72 looks like F of X equals 72 divided by X. Now that we have our function, we are asked to calculate how many years it will take for your investment to double with these values in question B in for X. Let's try the first one together. For an annual return of 6%, I can substitute 6 everywhere I see X in the function. So F of 6 equals 72 divided by 6. This gives me F of 6 equals 12. That means with an annual rate of 6%, it will take about 12 years for me to double our money. Now go ahead and try the next question with an annual return of 8%. What is F of 8? Awesome. You will see that F of 8 is equal to 9 years. So how can this be useful for you? You can use the rule of 72 as a helpful tool in your back pocket to quickly compare and gauge your investment options given different rates of return. So let's review how to use function notation. First, you create a function equation, identifying your input value x and your output f of x. Next, you can plug in your input values into the function. Then you can use order of operations as you normally do to solve for the output f of x. Now it's your turn. Using the function notation for rule of 72, calculate what rate of return you would need in order for your money to double in five years. Continue on to the practice problems in your worksheet. You got it. 